up guys just got over here to brian's shop we're over here actually i've been over here a couple hours trying to finish up this race car brantley's here harper's here brian's actually under the weather today and on that one we got to fix the cold side he's got almost everything done but since it's wednesday night i've got to get this thing welded because i'm planning on leaving to get a no prep kings on thursday it's not wednesday night it's tuesday night it's it's a night during the week i'm very tired but we're making some progress. Let me show you what we've done on mine. It's coming around. Uh, it's looking pretty good. This is the best looking turbo kit I have ever done. So very, 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 very happy. Comment, like, and subscribe. We'll see y'all at No Prep Kings in a few days. Don't forget to go to turbojohnracing.com. Grab yourself some merchandise. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. So picking up from where we left off last night, I'm sorry to give y'all so many videos on, I mean, it, all, I'm, I mean, it doesn't feel like we're making much progress, but we are. We're making progress. We got this dump tube done. Uh, that turned out okay. It wasn't the best, but what I'm going to do with this is it's going to mount right here. These Black Sheep Industry wastegates are freaking awesome. It's just going to dump. I, I wanted it to dump kind of away from the tire, of course, so that's going to be good there. This other one, I just got through welding this one up. So it's still pretty hot. We got some decent welds on this one, actually. But it's going to just kind of go down. It's going to go down and kind of go over here. Kind of by the oil filter. Kind of this way. So uh, we'll stick these on real fast and then we'll be done. I also borrowed Randy's regulator. His regulator is not the same as the one that I ordered. So we had to kind of hack it up in there, but... It's going to work out. Um, ended up having to get a piece of line. Uh, we'll end up just zippy tying it right there for the time being. Uh, it's pr actually pretty tight in there right now. So with a couple of zippy ties, this thing is not going anywhere. Nice and tight, got fuel pressure sensor in it. Uh, got the, uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. It would not work to go the way I wanted it to, the way my other one fit over here. Now the one I ordered, it was an air motive. Uh, Amazon kind of got me. Uh, it was supposed to be here tomorrow and it said uh, delivery on Wednesday and I ordered it and then yesterday they changed it and said delivery on Friday. So Kaylee will take it to the track uh, when she goes to the track. But my plan is to leave on Thursday to go to Rockingham. So these are done. So Brantley just jacked up the car. We're going to throw some jack stands under it real fast. And then we are going to drain the alcohol out of the oil pan. It's got a bunch of moisture and a bunch of alcohol. It's been sitting now for uh, Sunday, Monday, three days. So it's been sitting. So it should, the good thing about this Brad pin is it separates really, really good. So um, we're gonna crank this thing in just a few minutes, hopefully in the next few hours. Uh, hopefully we'll be pretty close. So I'm gonna do that. I uh, still gotta put the diaper on it. So I'll go ahead and put the diaper on it while we're under there today. And then the only thing that's left at that point is to figure out how we're gonna mount this. Uh, I brought some some bigger tubing. So I think what I'm gonna do is take the downpipe off. Well, that's kind of in the way there. I might need to do it from this side. Or I, I, I've got enough room, I think. We'll take this right here and uh, go up in just like an L and weld a bracket right here somehow to this to make it so that it can give the turbo some support. Um, you know, I guess another thing I could do, I could come off of here and square it in and just let the turbo kind of sit on a bar. Uh, Cause I mean, it's gonna go down. Uh, we're gonna think about that. We may do that. That would be probably the most rigid, uh, although it would be further out here. Uh, we'll figure it out. We might come up this way. I might come up across the down pipe and then go off and then have a something there. All right, here we go. All right, guys, the wastegate tubes are on. Let's see how those kind of points down, kind of points in a little bit to get it away from the tires. This one kind of points over and back. It does point just under that. It's kind of hard to tell the way it actually points here, but that should be pretty close. They're about the same height. This one's a little bit further down, but I mean, it's way, it's good. So, okay, now we're gonna drain the methanol and condensation out of the oil. Uh, we did on that one, we we made two, three, three passes, a couple spool ups. And then when we had it running out here, when it dumped all the methanol. And I think somebody had mentioned, and I think they're right, uh, when that in, in when that fuel pressure regulator failed, uh, I, I do think it probably gained some fuel pressure, but I think the main leak, y'all could, the main leak, 
Y'all can see how much fuel this thing's returning with the diaphragm ruptured, and this was hooked to here. That's hooked to right there. So if you look at the angle of that one, it would have been basically blowing right in that back cylinder. And that's the one that was cold. That's the one I thought was the one that was sticking. And that's also when we had the downpipe, that's the one that we, you know, the or the open, it was coming out of this side over here. Okay, let's drain the oil real fast. How much methanol we got? Right about there. Okay, so that's like two quarts out. Um, I do have a pan heater. I might turn on the pan heater as well. I mean, this is, I mean, man, usually it does a better, the Brad pan usually does a better job of separating. Um, actually, let's go ahead and drain it off. You think they want to see all that yuckiness? No. You can go ahead and turn it off. All right, guys, well, we got the oil changed mostly. We got four quarts out of it, put four quarts in. This oil doesn't have any runs on it. And I got the pan heater. If you listen closely, you can hear it sizzling down there. It's trying to, I'm trying to warm it up. We're going to try, we're going to, try to uh, crank it in just a second. So it's just the pan heater goes in there. It's like a 1500 watt element. So that's good. Uh, working on, uh, got the mounts on for the diaper, fixing to stick the diaper on it. Um, Harper's been making this pipe. So we're getting this sorted out now. All right, guys, so the diaper is on. We have got all the downpipe stuff, waste paint gate stuff done. All the CO2 lines are now done. All those are run. Uh, we were just verifying the trans brake stuff's working. That seems to be good. Uh, diapers on it. Uh, we got Harper's done, or we got Brian's done over here. Uh, however, <laughs> we got it to fit. There again, we just used all old pipes. Some of that's off of my old kit. Some of it's off of his kit now. And uh, and we got to put some stuff on it, but we misjudged a little bit. We had it to where we thought it was going to connect like right there. And these um, clamps give you some adjustability, but there's just, it's just a little too, it's a little too far gap right here. Not much. So we got actually two options. We can either straighten this up, turn it this way, a little piece of pipe to go in here to extend it back out where it needs to go that's like perfect right there or we can slide it down this way and get it to touch and what we'll have to do is we can come on here and cut all, honestly probably the just a little pie cut out of this little section right here and then weld it back together and then this will go in enough to be good enough i think but uh we're gonna do that for tomorrow so time being uh, this thing's ready to try to start. I'm gonna go get the laptop real fast and uh, we're gonna try to start it, see what happens. Hang on. All right guys, so here we go. We're gonna try to crank this thing real fast. It is a brake clean baby. Um, let's squirt some actually in right here. Give me like three seconds in there. Okay, yep. Okay, let's try this again. Let's see It's a brake clean baby and it's cold. This is what you want to do. Well, we have to do anyway. Yeah, just a little bit. You just gave it a shot over there, so it should be good. Okay, ready? Hold on. All right.
guys with that thing. Woo! I am, man, that is, that is rowdy. Uh, so, we're going to have to do, we might have to make this a little bit longer and make it somehow so that this is not close to that downpipe. Uh, see the condensation, all the, that condensation, the steaming, the freight training. If y'all remember my old car, when it was really cold outside, uh, you know, we run it a little rich and it would, it would look like a steam engine uh, pulling up to the starting line. But man, that turbo is zinging. Like, I know it is cold outside. So, I mean, you know, cold air always helps, but uh, not having water in the cylinder uh, is going <laughs> going to help quite a bit. And uh, yeah, wow, I'm pretty impressed, guys. No leaks, all my welds seem to be doing fine. Um, so that's, that's okay. Uh, the only thing we got to do Tomorrow, we gotta finish brines and I've gotta build something to support that turbo. Um, Cause it is going to hang. And yeah, I gotta put the catch can somewhere, uh, which I probably got room. The catch can was right here. Uh, we'll, we'll have to figure it out. Uh, radiator is gonna go back over there for the time being. And uh, we'll, we'll figure it out guys. But this thing's pulled up, super happy. Super, super, super happy. So, all right, guys, comment, like, and subscribe. NPK bound, hopefully, in a couple days. I'll let you know if anything changes. We should be good. All right, guys, later.